Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing this like smoked out liner look. I feel like it is like a cute sultry look that you can use like if you want to go out. I feel like it's a good look to know how to do. So if you guys want to see how I created this look and what products that I use, go ahead and keep on watching. Hands around my neck. Okay, so to start off, I'm just going to prime my eyes. This is the Cara Beauty Eyeshadow Primer. And I love this eyeshadow primer. If you guys haven't seen my videos before, welcome. Um, I've talked about this on my channel multiple times. I love it. I think that it's better than MAC Paint Pot. So if you're looking for a good primer, I suggest you go with that one. So I'm just going to go ahead and place this all over my lid. Okay, and then for shadows, I'm actually going to take the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to take this shade and also this shade here. This palette is so beat up. It is really bad. So with this look, we want to kind of focus everything on the outer part of our eye. Not really in this area right here. We want to stay literally, we want to stay literally like right here. I'm just going to place this on the outer V and kind of go up and out. And I'm also taking it in, but getting as close to my lash line as possible. Okay, so it looks kind of more pinky reddish because I have eyeshadow on here from my last look that I did. So I'm going to take a different brush so I can get a cooler payoff for it. Again, just winging it out this way. It's not really winging it out, it's just kind of like blending it out. And next, I'm going to go ahead and go in with this dark brown shade right here. It's not the darkest brown in the palette, but it's like the second to darkest. And I'm just placing this right against my lash line. Okay, so now that we have that base down, it's like kind of our foundation. I'm going to take the e.l.f. black liner. This is a gel liner. It is so creamy. It's everything. It's very dark. I'm going to take this on an e.l.f. angled eyeliner brush. And this doesn't have to be precise because we're going to smudge it out. Okay, just like that. And you guys can see like this liner here. It shouldn't be right there. It looks very annoying. So to actually smudge it out, I'm going to take this Morphe M151 brush. I love to use this brush for the inner corner, but this is also really good for smudging. So I'm going to take this brown shade right here. This is the darkest brown in the palette. Another thing too is make sure that you smudge your line out before it completely dries. So for this look, I wouldn't use this eyeliner. This is like my favorite liquid eyeliner. I wouldn't use this one because of the fact that it is going to be too hard to smudge out because it is a matte and it is it just stays there. This one you can kind of move around, but you do have to make sure that you do it before it starts to set. And I'm taking more of that brown shadow. I'm actually going to take this shade right here just to kind of lighten it up and to not go so heavy on the dark shadow. On the outer corner, it's already dry, so I'm taking this gel liner and placing it there again so I can smudge it out so that it does smudge out just so that it's not like a harsh line. And you guys don't have to be precise with this like you guys see this. It's okay. It's all good. We'll clean it up later. And then after that, I'm going to take this light brown shade right here. I'm taking this almost all the way in the crease, but not entirely. I'm just taking it kind of on the outer corner. You guys are going to be super careful when you're using gel liners too because they're messy. Like, they get everywhere. And then for the part that I'm most excited about for this tutorial, don't worry about the shape of this eyeliner. We're not going to leave it like that. So for the glitter on top of the eyeliner, I'm going to take this Cara Beauty Liquid Galaxy Shadow. And this is in the shade Shadow. And this is like a blackish, like grayish metallic. And then to add this on, I'm not going to use the actual applicator that it comes with. I'm going to use this e.l.f. brush right here. I think it's a precision brush, but I honestly, it's like for concealer. But I mean, you can use the brushes for anything your little heart desires. So I'm just going to go ahead and place this right on top of where the eyeliner is at. This honestly kind of has like a blue tone to it, but I'm not mad at it. I like it. Just like that, and then I'm going to take the Cara Beauty K37 brush, and I'm just going to smudge out the glitter so that it looks blended, and that the glitter kind of pops out more. And then with my finger, I'm actually just going to go over the shadow just to make sure that the glitter pops out more. And then to clean up the edge, I'm just going to take this wipe that I have right here and clean that up. Honestly, this is where it all comes together. And when you wipe it up, you want to make sure that you're doing it at the angle that you want. As you guys can see, there's shadow all the way up here so that it like, there's blank spaces in between. And then to go ahead and highlight my brow, I'm actually going to take a matte shadow. I'm going to take this vanilla bonus shadow that's right here in the palette. And I'm just going to go ahead and place that all over my brow bone because I feel like that's going to be what goes best with this look. And I'm just going to give the focus to the eyeliner. Okay, so I just finished this eye. I did off camera. I just wanted to show you guys that you do want to kind of drag the shadow out farther than the line or the shade that you'd actually want to go for because when you clean it up, you're going to get that clean look like this. So with this look, I always do my eyes first because I feel like if I do foundation, it's just a waste because I will get like dark brown shadow or like the black um, all over my face. So I feel like this is just like the safe way to do it. 
I'm just gonna add some mascara. This is the Dream Big Mascara by Pacifica. And I've been loving their mascaras lately. I feel like they actually nourish my lashes and that my lashes don't fall out like they would with another mascara. I already primed my face. I use the Frankie Rose Cosmetics Prime Addiction Primer. And for my lashes, I'm actually taking Dainty Cosmetics Barcelona Lashes. These are my favorite. These are my favorite for like a look where I don't want my eyelashes to be dramatic, but I do want to add some falsies. It, I just feel like it complements my eye really, really well. That's why I really, really like these. So for foundation, I'm going to take the Frankie Rose Cosmetics Foundation, and this is in the shade Cappuccino. So I've been using this foundation for about a year, and I love it. I have no complaints about it. I'm actually like running out of it. And this is my foundation. That's why I can put this on with the pup. And with this foundation, a little goes a very long way. This foundation is matte. But it's not one of those foundation where it's like, ooh, like this crusty matte, like it's a very, very dry matte. Um, this is not that type of foundation. Okay, so I actually have to go in with a brush to get some of it out because my neck, I don't want it to be two different colors. I'm just gonna spray some rose water. And I like to kind of let it sit. I don't go in with my sponge right after I do that, but I start at my neck. And this foundation blends so, so good. And for concealer, I'm going to take the Frankie Rose Cosmetics Our Little Secret Concealer. And this concealer goes a really, really long way, so there's no need to be adding a lot of this. Even though I still do, and I'm like, why did I waste all that concealer? Go ahead. And then with this look, I don't want to go straight up against that line, because I don't want to interrupt that line, because it's already there, and I don't want to mess it up. So I'm just going to lightly blend it up into that line. I don't like to put a lot of concealer under right here because if you do pack a lot of product under there, it will crease. And it just kind of gives your skin more of an aged look if you add a lot of product onto your skin. So I always like to make sure that I'm taking off as much product as possible with still having the look that I want. And then for my setting powder, I'm using the La Femme Cosmetics Banana Powder. And then I'll use this to go ahead and set my neck and everywhere else around my face. And I don't like to leave the powder on under my eyes for a long time again because it will make you look more aged so we don't need that and then for the powder that's sitting under right here i'm just gonna take a brush and just blend that away and then next for the bronzer i'm taking my Too Faced bronzer and then again i'm gonna go with my ColourPop wispy highlighter because this is like my liquid highlighter i would say i put it under everything because i feel like it just makes the biggest difference Okay, so I actually forgot my highlighting brush, but no big deal. I'm just going to use this ABH brush that has a blending brush on the end of it. I'm going to use that to place my highlighter. So I'm going to take Aura and also Twinkle and just place that over the ColourPop one. And then for the blush, I'm going to take the Carby Lighting Hour Palette again. And I'm going to take this in the shade Light. And I only do one dab because it is intense. It is very intense. So I'm just going to place this right on the apples of my cheeks. And if I need more, I'll go in and get more, but I like to start off with a little bit. I'm just gonna go with more blush because I can and I love this blush. It just looks so good. I could just honestly sit here and add blush for days. It just makes your face come to life and I love it. And then since the eyeliner has some glitter going on with it, I'm gonna take this bone shadow and just use this to highlight my inner corner. So for my lower lash line, I'm gonna add some shadow just so that it's not blank under there and just so that it kind of keeps with that shape of a cat eye. So I'm gonna take the Too Faced palette again and just take this light shade right here and this one over here. And just on a little smudging brush, I'm just very lightly smudging this up against the outer part of my eye. And then I'm going to take this dark brown shade right here. And then I'm going to take that and push it right up against my lash line. It's nothing too intense, but you guys can see that it did make a difference. And then for the bottom lashes, I'm going to take the Pacifica mascara again. I don't know if you guys saw like my lash was kind of hanging off on the edge. I just saw that right now. So this time I just added some eyeliner again on the outer part of my eye. For the lip liner today, I'm going to use this NYX lip liner and this is in the shade Mauve. And for the lipstick today, I'm going to take this Atomic Makeup lipstick and this is in the shade Debbie. And the formula of this lipstick is honestly amazing. I love it. Alright, so this is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I had fun creating this look because I've been wanting to and I won't do a video if I don't want to do it. If you guys like this look, definitely give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.